After spending a few minutes lost in thought, Danny regains awareness when his therapist gets his attention. She asks him to remember the traumatic reason why he's here, and Danny begins telling the story of how he lost her daughter. He had taken Minnie to the park, and while the girl was having fun, Danny got distracted for just one second. This was enough for Minnie to disappear without a trace. Danny became suspicious of a guy named Lyle, who had been staring at the kids that day, and he managed to have him arrested. However Lyle's lawyer claimed innocence due to mental incapacity, insisting Lyle didn't remember what happened or where Minnie was. Years passed and Danny's wife left him, but he never moved on. Once the therapy session is over, Danny looks at pictures of Minnie and his very blonde and white wife Vivian before meeting with his partner Nix. Together they head towards a local bank because they received an anonymous tip warning them of an imminent robbery. Nix explains two other branches of the same bank were previously robbed already, but only one specific safety deposit box was taken every time even if they didn't have any money. When they arrive, the two detectives join their surveillance team in the truck to observe the scene outside the bank. They soon notice a man called Del Rain, who Danny thinks looks familiar. He sits next to a woman on a bench, and when Del Rain says it's very hot today, the woman begins walking away actually repeating it. Then Del Rain talks to the cops in front of the bank, who easily let him pass. Danny realizes Del Rain has accomplices and immediately goes after him. When he gets inside, an employee tries to stop him, so Danny secretly steals his keys and pretends he wants to open a safety box. He's then taken to the deposit and when the man discovers he's missing the keys, he leaves to find them, giving Danny the chance to use the key and open the box number that was robbed in the other branches. To his shock, he finds a picture of his daughter with a handwritten note instructing him to find Lev Del Rain. Meanwhile the woman outside continues to complain about the heat and walks around while taking off her clothes, not stopping at the traffic lights and causing an accident that makes a bunch of cars crash, blocking the road. At that moment, Del Rain enters the bank and with just one word, he makes the receptionist decide they're closed for the day. Suddenly all the front door cops burst inside and threaten everyone to make them run while the receptionist goes to retrieve the same deposit box. Danny pulls out his gun and tells her to stop, but it's like she can't even tell he's there and keeps on moving. The cops soon join them and shoot Danny who thankfully is wearing a bulletproof vest. Then they escort the woman with the box out of the bank and get in an armored truck, which they drive until they find the road blocked but the woman suffering from imaginary heat. The receptionist tries to dodge her and ends up crashing the truck, immediately dying from her injuries. Del Rain approaches the crash site, grabs the box, and puts a bomb in the woman's hand before leaving. By the time Danny finally catches up, the bomb blows up, destroying all evidence. Danny notices Del Rain running away and immediately starts chasing him. They enter an old building and Danny is startled by a sudden noise, but it's just his fellow detectives. The three of them go upstairs to find Del Rain on the roof, but when he says he's the wrong man, the two detectives turn their weapons against Danny. Del Rain also mentions Lyle, implying he knows something about Minnie. Danny takes out the picture to demand answers and Del Rain finally realizes the box is empty at the same time Nix arrives with backup. Finding himself cornered, Del Rain tells the detectives to clean up before jumping to escape. The two detectives shoot each other and when Danny looks at the street, Del Rain is gone. Nix then informs Danny only one guard survived and he claims not to remember anything, just like Lyle did. In the evening, Danny is reviewing the footage when he gets a call from Nix, who informs him they've tracked the anonymous caller and gives him the address. Danny goes to the location and meets Diana, a psychic who is currently working with a big burly man. The guy goes outside to wait on his bike while Danny asks some questions, but Diana refuses to answer and asks Danny to leave, obviously scared of something. At that moment, someone approaches the big man outside and suddenly, he's driving his bike right through the store, intending to kill Diana and Danny. They move out of the way just in time and when the guy sees he's failed to kill them, he uses a piece of debris to end things for himself. Seeing as Diana is now in danger too, Danny takes her to the police station, where she confesses the whole story. It's revealed that Del Rain is a hypnotic, meaning he possesses psychic abilities that allow him to control people's minds. Diana has the same powers, and both she and Del Rain used to belong to a classified agency known as the Division, established by the US government. This program was designed to train individuals with psychic abilities, and at first they pretended to help them, but later it became clear that they wanted to use them for conflict and politics. When Danny doesn't believe her, Diana takes control of Nix, making him sit, cry, and then go outside for a smoke just by talking to him. Her story goes on to explain Del Rain is the most powerful hypnotic, but he went rogue. The division tried to stop him and Diana was one of the agents to fight him, but Del Rain escaped anyway, so Diana quit and started a new life to stay hidden. When she read about the robberies on the news and heard nobody remembered anything, she knew Del Rain was behind it. Meanwhile outside, Del Rain finds Nix and uses his powers on him. Suddenly Nix storms back inside, ready to shoot Danny and Diana. He won't answer to reason, so Danny has to shoot him in the leg to stop him. Nix still attacks him and starts a fight, causing Danny to struggle against him until he manages to handcuff him to the cell bars. However Nick is still under the influence of Del Rain's power and he can't stop trying until he completes the orders. He desperately struggles against the handcuffs, hurting his wrist in the process. 
The pain doesn't stop him and he almost manages to escape, but Diana cuts in and shoots him in the head first. Danny is furious, but Diana explains Nyx would have died anyway and this counts as setting him free. Since they have no way to explain Nyx's death, Danny and Diana run out of town while their faces appear all over the news as fugitives. At a diner, Danny confesses that he finally believes Lyle when he said he didn't remember anything and that Del Rain is obviously behind Minnie's disappearance. At that moment the local sheriff enters the diner and recognizes them, but before he can take out his gun, Diana uses her powers to make him call the station and tell them he saw the fugitives running away, she also makes him pay for everything. When Danny and Diana try to leave, the sheriff gets a message on his radio, it's Del Rain, who says he's coming for them. As soon as they come out, they find Del Rain and two cops waiting for them. Danny tells Diana to get away while he distracts them and he runs towards the train rails, where he carefully moves to hide behind passing trains and stay away from the men that are now looking for him. After some sneaking around, Danny suddenly turns on his heel and is shocked to find the landscape folding in front of him. A sudden noise behind him reveals Del Rain and the cops, and now the landscape returns to normal, revealing it was another mind trick of Del Rain. When the cops are about to shoot him, a truck suddenly runs over them, turning out to be Diana. The duo escapes together in the vehicle and begins making their way to Mexico. Diana explains a hypnotic can make someone see whatever they want them to see unless they have a psychic block, and Diana thinks Danny somehow has a very powerful one because she hasn't been able to use her powers on him. However it seems Del Rain can. Later when they make it to the border, a guard tries to stop them, but Diana uses her powers to make the guy let them pass. Eventually they go to see Jeremiah, who also used to work at the division. He doesn't have powers, but he has a very strong block that only Del Rain can break. When they knock at his door, Jeremiah sends his cleaning lady to open it but soon gets suspicious and takes out his own weapon as Danny enters alone. At that moment the cleaning lady takes out a gun too and it's revealed to be Diana, who had used her powers to put an illusion around herself while sending the other lady to hide in the closet. When they ask Jeremiah about Del Rain, he explains that Del Rain is after something called Project Domino, a powerful weapon created by the division that has the capability to control the minds of individuals in any situation, even those highly resistant to hypnosis. Del Rain stole the domino and concealed it in an undisclosed location, and to ensure its secrecy he wiped his own memory, only leaving secret clues behind as potential triggers in case he needs to remember. The division captured him shortly afterward, but six weeks ago, something triggered his memory and he escaped. Now he's looking for other clues to remember the location of the domino, and Jeremiah suspects that the trigger is in one of those bank deposit boxes. When Danny confesses he found a picture of Minnie in the boxes, Jeremiah asks to look at it, and Diana immediately gets suspicious. Jeremiah reveals he's actually Del Rain wearing a psychic disguise and shoots at them. Danny and Diana run away, trying to mix their presence in the street crowd. Some men suddenly turn against them, apparently being under Del Rain's powers too, so Danny shoots his gun in the air to make the civilians run away. After pushing a few men off, Diana and Danny run to another street, where they shoot at a driver's helmet to make him fall off his bike. Then they steal the bike and begin driving very fast through town, pushing away any new person that tries to stop them. Suddenly the landscape begins folding again and Danny feels confused, but Diana reminds him it isn't real and he keeps going causing a truck to get off the road and crash. The building it hit begins crumbling above them, so the duo drops the bike and runs away, only to find themselves cornered in a blocked alley. Del Rain arrives with a bunch of cops under his command and tries using his powers to catch them. However Danny remembers what Diana told him about the block and he concentrates his mind, starting a power of wills that abruptly ends with the cops turning against Del Rain. As the police take him away, Danny freaks out because he never had powers before but he's obviously been trained to control them, and Diana reaches the conclusion his memory must have been wiped. Afterward they go to see another friend of Diana's named River, who possesses exceptional hacking skills and built the network for the division. River does some searching on his computer and finds Danny's records with Marine Records and the police, but there are no mentions of a wife. When River looks a bit deeper, Danny is devastated to learn his ex-wife Vivian is also a member of the division. Her location is encrypted, so it'll take River a few hours to crack. Danny and Diana go to another room to rest, and Danny shares his story with Vivian. They had fallen in love during college, then they got married and started their family but as soon as Minnie was abducted their relationship was completely shattered. Danny thinks Vivian lied about her job but that her pain had been real. Later while Diana takes a shower, Danny receives a call from an unknown number, which turns out to be Del Rain. He uses his powers on Danny to make him hurt Diana, and Danny tries his best to resist them as he hangs up. However there are still traces of the power in his mind, and Danny hits the table before looking for Diana, only to realize all this time he's been carrying scissors in his hand and he didn't notice. He forces himself to stick them on the wall and walk away, but as Diana comes out to check on him, Danny looks again and realizes the scissors are still in his hand. He raises them as he tries to fight the impulse to attack her, but Diana sees his reflection in the mirror and immediately turns around to kiss him, providing a distraction that helps him break out of the impulse. They spend a few moments getting frisky together and eventually fall asleep, but Danny wakes up when he has nightmares of his family memories and Diana somehow turning into Vivian. 
Then Danny sneaks into the other room where River is sleeping too. Using the computer, Danny is shocked to discover Diana has the name Vivian on the system and she's still working for the division. It turns out that Danny's memory was modified. Diana had been his real wife all along but every time he looked at the pictures, he would see the blonde woman instead. Then Danny looks for Minnie's profile and he's shocked to discover she's Domino. Her skills are so great because she's the daughter of two powerful hypnotics. At that moment Diana wakes up and tells Danny the whole story. Both she and Danny were part of the division, and when the organization learned about Minnie's powers, they tried to take her to train her to be the most powerful hypnotic in the world. Diana agreed with this plan, but Danny refused to let the government use a child like that. It was he who kidnapped Minnie to then delete his own memories to keep her safe. Danny starts remembering his plan and explains he wanted to protect Minnie from every person in the room, revealing he's finally realized this isn't real. River's room suddenly goes away and Danny finds himself in the division's base, where he's been put through an illusion to try to get Minnie's location out of him. His cop life is a lie, everything he's lived since he saw the therapist is part of the division's plan to make him remember Minnie's location. Diana, Nix, the fake Vivian, River, the therapist, and all the people from the bank are all division members that have been acting their part. Del Rain is there too and has the picture, explaining the words written there are the key to finding Minnie. They've been trying for four years to get Danny to remember, but whenever they are close enough, Danny figures it out and breaks the illusion, so they have to start again. Danny still refuses to cooperate and runs outside, where he finds all the sets they've built to make the illusion more real. The division agents immediately surround him and tase him to knock him out. Moments later, Danny wakes up inside a lab and Diana tells him her love for him is real, but Danny still insults her. Giving up, Diana and the others proceed to connect Danny to a machine and reset his memory, so whenever they ask him a question, he can only say I don't know. When he wakes up, Danny thinks he's at the therapist's office again. The new illusion starts exactly the same way as last time, using even the same words. As Danny goes through the motions, in real life the division keeps an eye on his vitals, and the agents play their parts around the set. However when Danny gets in the fake elevator and looks at his phone, he sees the pictures with Diana's real face, meaning his block has finally become strong enough to stop the reset. For now Danny pretends to play along. Nix comes to pick him up and they go to the bank, which is just another part of the set. While they look at the surveillance footage, Danny pretends to be taking notes about the case in his notebook. Like last time, he leaves the truck to enter the bank, but when the division gets distracted by waiting for him to cross the door, Danny suddenly disappears. As all the agents go looking for him, Danny manages to steal a van and begins driving like crazy, running over every set piece and person that dares to stand in his way. Diana uses a radio to transmit her powers through the speakers that are all over the base, but Danny's block is strong and he just drives away. At that moment Nix finds Danny's notebook and discovers he's been using it to decipher the phrase from the picture. It turns out Find Lev Del Rain is an anagram for Deer Valley Lane, which is Minnie's location. A few hours later, Danny makes it to Deer Valley, where Carl and Thelma receive him with their weapons out. After confirming he has remembered everything, they take him inside, where Danny finds a grown Minnie playing with dominoes. Father and daughter reunite with a hug and suddenly Minnie announces her mother is here. Meanwhile the division agents are approaching in helicopters and a quick system search tells them that the ranch in Deer Valley belongs to Thelma and Carl, who are Danny's foster parents. When they land, Thelma and Carl give a warning shot and talk to Diana as if they know her, but Diana doesn't remember either of them. Since they won't cooperate, Del Rain orders his men to shoot them. Diana is desperate to get her daughter and runs to the bodies, trying to get them to talk before they die. At that moment Danny comes out and says the woman he loves wouldn't want such a life for her daughter, implying Diana is a pawn of the division. Then Minnie comes out and hugs her mother, saying she's proud of her for coming home. Diana is confused, and Minnie reveals all this has been a plan to escape from the division. Del Rain begins freaking out as he realizes this isn't real and he shoots the house, causing the illusion to start wavering. Minnie uses her powers to make Nick shoot all the other agents, and the few that try to resist it are controlled by Danny so they'll end things for themselves instead. Suddenly the illusion ends and Del Rain discovers they're on a fake set near the hills. Carl and Thelma are alive and they proceed to shoot any agents that are still standing. In the meantime, Minnie connects to her mother to fix her memories. Diana sees herself tied to a chair with a man in a red mask that is resetting her mind while ignoring her pleas for help. Diana opens her eyes, shocked by all the new memories, and when Del Rain is about to shoot her, Minnie uses his powers to make him end things for himself instead. Then Danny tells the whole story, as soon as Minnie was born, they knew she was extremely powerful. The division began training her, confirming she could be very dangerous and used for war. Danny and Diana didn't want that future for her but they also knew the division would never let them go, so they made a plan to escape them for good. Minnie was kept hidden with her grandparents so she could practice her powers until she was strong enough to fight the division while her parents deleted their own memories. Danny wrote the photograph with a clue for himself, then he put on that red mask to modify Diana's memory and made her believe she was on the division's side. That way one day she could make them all come here and kill them to end things for good. The family hugs as they celebrate they're finally free from the division. 
The three of them leave with Thelma in a helicopter while Carl says he'll stay behind to clean up. However, as soon as they're gone, it's revealed that the dead Del Rain on the ground is actually Carl, and the alive Carl had been Del Rain all along. Now he can escape and start a new plan to get Minnie. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.